Today we're going to show you how to configure your 202 series gauge for single height control drive axle group and two trailer axle groups. So this setup would be used on something like a transfer dump truck or semi truck with two trailers. So here we have the 202 DDG03 with three built-in air sensors. So make sure you configure the gauge before you calibrate or else calibration data will be lost. All right, so from the home screen, we're going to click on the wrench in the lower right hand corner. We are then going to click into settings. We're going to go over till we see configuration inputs. So now we're at configuration inputs, go ahead and click on that. And now because um, we have a single height control valve drive axle group and then two single height control valve trailer axle groups, we actually want a slash in both boxes. So you have one between one and three. We're going to click here. Now we have one between one and two. So the reason we have the slashes in the boxes is that's going to give you separate independent weights. And from there we will back out and we will go to configuration names. Uh, we're going to rename the sensors here. So first we'll go into sensor one. We're going to make sensor one drive. We'll then go into sensor two. That's going to be trailer A. And then we're going to go into sensor three. And that's going to be trailer B. Now if you want to turn on estimated steer, we'll go back out. We're going to click on the arrow in the bottom right hand corner. There's estimated steer, click on that. We're going to turn on the estimated steer. Now from here we'll back out to the home page where you can see all your weights. All right, so now we're at the home screen. We're going to click on weight. That is going to bring up the estimated steer, your drive, trailer A, trailer B, and gross weight. So now the scale is ready to be calibrated. Uh, for more information, please check out our website.